If you're looking for a really high risk, high reward crypto play, well, Uniswap is the vehicle for you. Uniswap could be just the 40X return lotto call that you've been looking for. And we have a pretty good setup in place, which I'll go over in a second, but I cannot emphasize enough. This is a very high risk, high reward play. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. We're looking at a setup here that can take us up to about 346, which would be a 10X return relatively quickly. And then ultimately 40X, maybe even more. Other higher targets are not out of question. What makes this current cryptocurrency so risky is that we don't have very much history. If you look at my chart, I only have history going back to 2020 on this platform, late 2020. And when you have less history, you have less inflection points, you have less peaks and valleys to actually build Fibonacci extensions off of. However, even within a short history, the pattern we see in Uniswap somewhat resembles what we're seeing in Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, in which historically we had a large one-two setup and we're about to take off for a higher target. So what are we looking at here recently? What has been happening? Why do I feel bullish about Uniswap in particular? Well, just like a lot of the other cryptocurrencies, we recently had a bottom. In the case of Uniswap, we actually had almost a triple bottom. For the intents and purposes of my study, I'm going to call our actual bottom, the bottom that we saw on July 20th. And ever since then, we have completed a five-wave rally in our microstructure. And it appears that we are complete with wave two. Usually you have a one and a two that traces, retraces 38% to 61% before we take off for wave three. However, there is a chance we still have more downside to come in the coming days for a slightly deeper wave two. But once we're done with wave two, we have quite some targets above us. From wave two, we have wave three. Again, good place to enter. Wave three could take us up to $48, $252. And then ultimately, after a wave four consolidation, we could get between $55 and $59 for our wave five for a larger wave one that we'll look at in the big picture momentarily. As with any other commodity or cryptocurrency, we may see bigger extensions up and bigger extensions are definitely a good thing because that gives us higher Fibonacci extension targets as we keep going forward. In order for this pattern to remain valid, we really need to hold the 2060 mark. So again, $20.60 is my price support. We could drop deeper and still be in a valid wave two, but it makes it dramatically less likely that we're gonna have as high of a wave three target if we do fall through. So once again, if you are planning to buy, not a bad time to put some lump sum money in there. Again, not all the eggs in one basket. It's a very high risk play. Uh, we may get a lower low. If you're doing dollar cost average, continue doing what you're doing. And again, I'll emphasize one more time, right size your position. This is a very risky crypto to get into. Now, as for the overall upside, I'll go back to my historical chart and we're going to kind of understand better why I have such high targets for this cryptocurrency. So as I mentioned, we have a large degree wave one top that I have marked as a wave one here in blue. And we topped around $43. Ever since there, we had a pretty convincing wave two pullback that took us down to just about $13. And we're calling that a slightly more than a 38% retrace, which is valid for a, a wave two pullback. As I alluded to earlier, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin are also following a similar pattern. They had much more of a retrace, but there's enough reason to believe that this really is a one, two wave for this particular cryptocurrency. Just for reference, other cryptos such as Bitcoin and Ethereum and even Ethereum Classic, I'm counting this as a wave four. So we don't have quite the upside that we do in something like Uniswap or Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin, but that they're still good plays. So once again, that's what we're looking at. We're in a, we're in a small wave one right now. So again, we have a large wave one, large wave two, and then on the smaller degree, we are targeting a wave one target somewhere between $46 and 98.72. Those are our targets between our 0.382 and our 0.618 extensions, which are typical for your sub wave one. And if this number looks familiar, it does align with the micro target I gave earlier. Uh, that target was somewhere between anywhere from 55 to $59, maybe a little higher. So that'll fall right around where that parentheses and closed one is for sub wave one. Once that happens, we got a few targets above us. 
obviously we have to break the $98 resistance. If we break through that, this thing's gonna fly, just take off. It's gonna go through like butter. We're, we got a resistance at 345. If we get there, that'll give us our 10, 11, 12 X return relatively swiftly. Typically that's your subway of three uh, stop, one of the resistances. After that, 1205 is our next target. So yes, we are sitting at 2873 at this moment. We have a pattern that could take us up to 1205, maybe 2612. We typically target the 1.382 extension or the 1.618 extension of the larger pattern uh, in a third wave. So again, what do I have here? 4142X return. That's where I get the 40X number. Huge potential. And remember, in Elliott waves, we have five waves. So if that's wave three, that means we're going to have a wave four. And then we'll have one final blow off in a fifth wave. And the numbers are absolutely absurd. I got a number somewhere around 4,200 to 9130. Again, we're going we're gonna to cross that bridge when we get there. There's a lot of things that have to set up in place before we can project a target that high. But this is why I'm saying Uniswap has insane potential. Don't overbuy it because of the insane returns you're going to get. You don't need that much to have a great return. And of course, diversify our cryptocurrency holdings. Don't put everything into one. Buy a variety of different cryptos, not just one. It's just like trading stocks or ETFs, same concept. Um, but until next time, happy trading and 